Hey, ambitious brother! Jay, today I want to talk about the goal of your entire life. There's a lot of pressure involved with that, but when I think about it, I think I have spent every day up to this point in my life, and probably for many years continuing into my life, essentially laying groundwork. Basically, every decision I've made was the decision that is supposed to be the right th decision, the decision that will set me up to succeed later. So still probably being several years away from reaching that point where I actually get to step off of all of this groundwork and onto the next step of my life, I spent a lot of time thinking about what is my entire life's goal? Like what is the one thing that I've done all of this work for? I'm not actually sure I know the one specific thing I hope to achieve with my life. Because what exactly are we working for? You could look at it from two different perspectives. You could look at the happiest period of your life, or the moment when you feel like you're set for a long time to come and there's the most amount of security and the least amount of stress, but then you could also assume that there could be the best day of your life, which may or may not come during that period of time. So we spend our whole lives working, so is the goal what you do within your life, like what you achieve as a career, what you achieve personally, or is it reaching that point the very last day of work that you ever have to put in and you get to walk out of there knowing that you don't ever have to do anything ever again. I mean, what would that feeling even be like? I, Because I'm not even someone who specifically thinks of retirement as an idealistic end to my career. Like, I would think I would rather just continue to work for a long time because I actually enjoy work. It's it's the goal-oriented nature of what I'm doing. It is it is always kind of setting the bar a little bit higher than what I've already been able to do and then seeing if I can't achieve it. But it could also be because I am still very early on in my professional life. I'm I'm still on like the first few rungs of raising that bar a two or three times. And so right now I'm like, yes, I want to continue to raise the bar. But as I get older, maybe I'll maybe I'll feel happy or satisfied or complete with what I've already done. Because if you think about it, our goals in life ever since we've been little kids have been completely moving targets. So at any point in our life up to this point, it has changed enough times to so the one thing that we can trust is the fact that what we believe right now to be our ultimate end-all be-all goal in life is probably not what it's going to be 10 or 15 or 20 years from now. So do you put pressure on something like being able to recognize what will be the best day of your life? Or do you just have to look back in hindsight and be like, that was it. That was the best day I ever lived. Because if you think about it and put that kind of pressure on the best day of your life, then it kind of almost makes it stressful. You want to be sure that the best day that you live in your whole life, you actually appreciate and you realize that it's happening. So for my question of the day, how do you perceive the best day of your life? Is it a completely relative thing? Is your life relative to your mindset within a certain situation? So. 65-year-old Ben Carlin could have a completely different best day of his life than 25-year-old Ben Carlin, which would actually mean that within my lifetime I could have multiple, many best days of my life. Or do you think if you had the ultimate day, if you were actually able to recognize this was it, this was the best day of my life. And I think if you could, that would not be an upsetting thing going forward in your life. Because if it is such an amazing day that you are able to recognize it, then it's probably something that you could appreciate for the rest of your life. But it would also be hard knowing, I just had the best day of my life. <laughs> It can't be better. This almost comes across as a like depressing topic, but it's not a depressing topic. It's just sheer curiosity because we're looking at a scope of our lifetimes that is just so long, it's gonna be so dramatic with so many ups and downs that it's really impossible to gauge whether or not or how you would be able to handle even this particular question. I don't even know if it's an answerable question, but based on who you are right now, I would be asking that version of yourself. So, leave your thoughts in the towel section down below. Also, Jay, this is one of the first videos since we've been doing Super Carlin Brothers, with the exception of a few turned around iPhone videos when I was away on work or something where I didn't actually script the video. I thought about it all day, 
and I just sort of wanted to see how the topic would come out if I just let it naturally flow out of me. So, also, let me know how I did. But, Jay, that is everything that I've got for you today, man. I will see you on Tuesday.